Welcome to Man Cave Media. Uh, my wife went out on her own without consulting me and bought herself a pair of shoes. Let's see what she got. All right, a couple days ago, I came home from work and my wife said, oh, my new shoes came. Do you want to unbox them? And I was like, you bought new shoes without telling me? I couldn't believe it. But anyways, uh, what we have in the box here is the Under Armour Intake 6 running shoes. These are in the black and white colorway. And let's get them out of the box, shall we? All right, so this is my first ever uh, Under Armour unboxing. So I don't know if this is a standard box or not. <laughs> it's a very basic box. It's a nice box. Uh, we have sneaker number one. And sneaker number two. Pretty nice looking shoes. I think my wife my wife did a good job. Uh, the paper has the Under Armour logo on it. And that is all. Let me get this out of the way. These aren't my shoes, but I know my wife doesn't care about the box, so I'll treat it with disrespect. All right, so here they are in all their glory. The Intake 6 Running by Under Armour. Again, these are the black and white colorway. Um, let's see, starting with the outside of the shoe, we have what looks like a prime knit material and a, like an iridescent Under Armour logo. And the prime knit has like, it's almost like a gray, it's not white. Like a gray color woven uh, woven in with some black and that carries through all the way around the mud guard is solid black well now it's even got uh, the mud guard has a uh, gray uh, the mud guard is mostly black but it's got some of that gray speckled in and that carries around the entire toe box on the inside of the shoe more of the same got that gray color pattern woven in with the black and then it has a white midsole that feels nice and squishy. Uh, on the heel, we have this plastic uh, support that's got the glossy uh, Under Armour logo there. Um, on the inside of the shoe, on the outside of the shoe, it says Under Armour, and it's also glossy. So you also have this padded area up here near your ankle. And the midsole on the back of the shoe also has this like black and white honeycomb pattern. That is not present anywhere else on the... Oh, I lied. It is. Uh, it's also present on the outside here. And then uh, on the outside, it also says H-O-V-R. I'm not sure what that stands for. Hover, maybe? I don't know. Uh, on the tongue, we have this mesh material. It feels like it's going to be really breathable. Then you have a white... Under Armour logo. Comes pre-laced with these uh, black rope laces. And let's see here, the insole is black. And it has a Under Armour logo and it says Comfort Deluxe System on the insole. <sighs> the outsole is black and white also. A uh, pretty standard looking tread pattern. Then you have more of that black and white honeycomb pattern right there on the heel. And then on the midfoot, it's like a, a exposed foam. And it almost feels like, it feels a little bit like a boost material. Slightly. Uh, a little more firm. But feels like these are going to be pretty comfortable on feet. Uh, I'll have to ask my wife. These are nowhere near my size, uh, so <laughs> they're not going on my big old feet. But they do feel like they're going to be rather comfortable. So on the website, it describes the upper of the shoe as lightweight, breathable knit for ultimate comfort against foot throughout your runs. And for the 
midsole technology. It has a, a, a TPU external heel counter for a lockdown support and fit. Guessing that's what that is. Um, let's see, Ortholite Deluxe. Okay, so Ortholite. I've I've had shoes with Ortholite in it before. It is a very comfortable material. Ortholite is is pretty good. Uh, pretty comfortable stuff. So, Ortholite Deluxe sock liner for maximum step in comfort. A responsive UA HOVR. So that's what this HOVR. I I don't know what it stands for still, but UA HOVR cushioning which reduces impact, returns energy, and helps propel you forward. So that's the technology that they're saying is in the cushioning for this shoe. Feels nice and squishy. Feels like it's going to be comfortable on foot. Carbon rubber in heel and toe uh, for added traction and durability. And blown rubber forefoot for energy return. Blown rubber forefoot. All right, again, these are not my shoes, so no on feet, but uh, let's get some close-ups, shall we? All right, retail for these shoes was $100. Uh, they are currently on sale uh, at the time of filming on Under Armour's website for 30% off. Uh, so you should head over there right now. The code is uh, UA Holiday. Uh, you will get an extra 30% off. So that, like I said, this is at the time of recording. It is Wednesday the 6th. This video will probably post on Sunday, the following Sunday rather. So. Head on over, see if they're still on sale. But anyways, um, they are available in almost a full-size run. 7 is sold out, 12 and a half is sold out, and 15 is sold out. So all other sizes are available. And they have two other colorways that I see here. I'm sorry, three other colorways that I see here. They have a black and obsidian colorway. They have a, let's see, a na like a navy blue and white colorway. And they have a red and black colorway. Ooh, that was the move. Oh, why didn't she get the red and black ones? That was the move. Those ones look nice. Yeah. If I were going to try these out, that's the color I would go for, the red and black. Yeah, those are nice. Is there any price increase at the red and black one? Nope. Still 100 bucks. More sizes sold out, though. 12 and a half, 14 and 15. 7 and 7 and a half. So if you want the red ones... Um, uh, more sizes unavailable for those guys, but yeah, that that's the way to go. The red and the black, those are nice. Uh, anyway, maybe in a week or so, um, I'll do a short, and I will say whether or not my wife thinks these are comfortable, if she's had a chance to wear them by then. But uh, other than that, I mean, yeah, I think she did pretty good. All right, that's all I have for this one. Thank you again for stopping by. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and help feed that algorithm. I hope you have a great evening, and like always, thank you for watching.